Hi guys, so let, today let's discuss something about accurate shadows that we have within Twinmotion when using real time Lumen as the render engine for rendering here in our viewport. Okay, I've disabled for a minute here in preference quality the NVIDIA DLSS resolution uh, scaling mode so we can have a lower FPS count and we can see the impact that this is standard and accurate the sorry these accurate uh, sliders have on the performance when we are rendering our scene and the visual impact they have too as you might know these two sliders control the quality of the shadows that we have within our project first one some vias is related to the directional light we are using in our project and the light vias is related to those artificial lights that we can use within our projects that we add from the library lights all of them and those who have shadows enabled if shadows are not enabled well this won't affect them at all okay the thing we need to keep in mind when using these two sliders is that you don't always need to take this value to 100 i know you want the greatest quality for your scene but look what you're doing okay you're pushing your graphics card to the maximum and it's going really really slow and most of the times it's not even needed let's decrease this value to zero now now we can see that there are a lot of artifacts and problems when rendering there is not even great shadows. If we increase the sun bias, the quality for those shadows starts to improve and the scene looks much better. But you need to keep in mind that this also affects the FPS count that we are having. Okay. Here we have it. We have a, a great value of 26. It looks good. We have 45 FPS. Now we increase this to 100 to have a much better quality and we decrease the FPS by 10. But does it really look better? Let's check. Maybe here, the quality starts to decrease, but from 40 upwards, it looks almost the same. Especially if you're working on a real-time experience, like a configurator, there's no sense in keep upgrading or augmenting this value. And you need to be even more careful with like bias because there's only one sun but artificial lights you can have as many as you wish okay in this case i only have three which is a very simple scene but in case i add for instance the spotlights we can have a dozen and that can slow up a lot our scene if we increase this value really high this is the one that really impacts the FPS of, of our scene. Look here how it dramatically decreases and probably we don't need to have such a high value. Let's decrease this and let's decrease it. Let's decrease it. Maybe around here it starts to break. It looks work. It lo doesn't look good. But around 43 it looks good. Maybe you don't need to keep upgrading this value. Let's, let's check out the FPS. We're near 40 FPS, going good. But if we keep increasing this value to have a much better view, maybe around here, 80, it might look a bit, just a bit better. But we are now in 27 FPS, 30 FPS, 21 FPS. The scene goes much slower because if we increase this value, probably it wasn't needed to. And this is very important because when you're rendering, not in real time here, but exporting the animation, the sequence using Lumen, probably you say, hey, I need the best quality. I'm going to take this to 100. And the only thing you will do is to increase the render time a lot. And probably having much lower values will give you a great quality view. Remind that even when using Lumen, you will never have a perfect image because reflections are not the same as when using path tracing because light bounces and calculations are not the same when using bound, uh, path tracing but you can get a good quality with having a balance between these two sliders what you see on your screen 
and the FPS, the performance you are having. So just wanted to let you know this so you can keep it in mind for your projects. If you want to learn more about Twinmotion, check another of our videos.